Good afternoon. Thanks for listening. Two quick philosophical points. One is birds of a feather flock together. I have this online acquaintance that is a reasonably well-known philosopher and theologian. I believe he's an incompatibilist. And when he notes these more famous philosophers and theologians he associates with, they're usually incompatibilists. I can respect these people. I can learn from these people. But they're not the people I would respect as much often because they're not reformed. In fact, I can think of one local pastor and one local former professor of mine that generally I would hold to in higher regard as Christian intellectuals because they're reformed. So we should realize that when we see online or in context people evaluating how good someone is or how world class they are, a lot of times it's birds of a feather flock together. Second philosophical point, one has to know when one is a student and when one is a teacher. A few weeks ago I knew I needed to be a student because I've had more local academic work and I had to do more driving and I needed a upgrade because I had an old vehicle that I had through my student days. So I ended up getting a fairly newish SUV from a used car lot and I saved thousands of dollars because I listened to a friend that had been purchasing vehicles over the years and he said don't go to a manufacturer car dealership, manufacturer car lot, go to this used one and I saved several thousand dollars and also through this same used car lot I picked up brand new tires for around half price. Also around the same time I went to a Bible study and there was this engineer there and sometimes engineers can be arrogant because they're smart in a way but they're not so smart in other ways and this is true about people that are arts people too but there tends to be more smart engineers in our society and we were talking about incompatibilism compatibilism during our study and he just refused to listen to me because he didn't like my view and he should have taken the position as student because I was more familiar with his view of incompatibilism than he was and I'm also of course a compatibilist but he would just say no 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 he was unteachable he wasn't willing to be a student so the example there is that that's a rare instance in my life where I should be the teacher usually I should be a student but we have to know when we should be either so basically I told this gentleman he needs to read more and he hasn't returned to the study.